Okay, this is a follow-up. I did recover the board, and I wasn't sure what the deal was. I wasn't sure what the deal was. This is the BIOS chip. I used SPI PGM with Linux. The, the guy in uh, the Czech Republic, he supplies a Linux binary. I used a junk laptop with a parallel port to recover this. This is a Supermicro C7 Z97. The uh, computer went to sleep and it never came on. So uh, I don't know if it got progged or, you know, probably some kind of error. I dumped the uh, BIOS using the tool and compared it with the file that uh, they give you on the internet. Um, there, was a pr there was a difference. And when I turn the computer on, it now successfully posts uh, before it did not. Before it did not. You can hear it beep. It comes on. Here we go. Before it did nothing. It hung up. And this is, uh, this is the critical fact. This is why I'm making this video, this third finale. Uh, not to extol my virtue, but uh, to tell you that I measured the data. I measured the data. I don't think the uh, CPU fan is sitting right. But uh, I measured the data on the data output pin. And that led me to the conclusion that there was data coming out of the pin and that the memory was correct and that the CPU was still alive. This allowed me to deduce that the BIOS was being queried and there was probably a problem with the execution. Uh, from uh, it, it first it starts up then it dumps the BIOS to RAM and executes. There was probably a problem with the file. That's what I believed and I was correct. So if you measure the data on that pin against uh, the ground, you should see if the BIOS is being queried or if your board is totally dead. And uh, that concludes the uh, final part of this video. Good luck. Good luck. It's hard. And uh, it's especially hard when you have work to do and this shit happens. So um, good luck and use magnet wire. Don't use that plastic shit or you will be fucked. Oh, and one more thing. I want to show you this. This is what I was using to solder. Uh, I, I got a, this is a piece of copper wire. I bought at the hardware store, number 10. I pounded it flat on a steel plate and uh, I just stick it in this iron. It's, it's a hack, it's terrible, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. And when it doesn't get hot enough, you heat it up with a torch. I use silver solder. It's stronger, it's more of, uh, it's, it's harder to work with, but it stays put. It stays put. I use multi-core solder. Good luck.